A strong hand and a steady eye and an understanding of the mood of the river. At Chertsey on the Thames, it's canoe sense that counts. A sense of balance which makes a man feel at one with his fragile craft. The floating boys are known as gates. There are 18 through which he's got to steer. It calls for expert assessment of current and drift. He's the first of 40 competitors and he's made a good start. Now for a double exposure. Ten years they've been racing canoes at Chertsey below the eight knot flow from the weir. But this is the first time the Canoe Camping Club have organized an obstacle race. Floating boys serve the same purpose as the poles and flags which mark a skiing course. And poles are actually used in shallow water. The current is slower by the banks, but there's a tricky undertow. For every pole or buoy you touch, there's a loss of 50 marks. And just to make sure you don't run up a balance, here's a further obstacle to be cleared. A canoe needs to be nicely balanced to cope with such tricks. Most of them are made in their owner's backyards. They're trim little craft, which give their owners a full cargo of thrills, yet cost little more than 10 pounds to make. Sooner or later, they'll make him lift the canoe over as well, for most of these craft are designed to fold. Stripped for action and here he comes, one of the boys of the old brigade. He'll need all he's got for the poles getting slippery. Still, it's all in the cause of the day's delight. Will he make it? Not this time. <laughs> 